Welcome back to Infinite Well. Today I plan on doing a little bit of the island still, just a little bit more. I haven't touched it since, you know, I last did it. I just want to do my best and get some of the island done, because I think that's how I'm going to get my money in this game. And so, I'm going to do a little of the island until the story deems I can leave, and then I'll do island stuff off, of course. But actually, I think I can leave, because I got the... Yeah, no, I got the way of traveling. Yeah. Oh, damn it. There we go. That's what I want to do. We'll call the night. <laughs> Should I wrap it up for the day? Get some rest for tomorrow? Yes, because I'm actually missing some HP because of the battling. I like that. That really does sound like the Final Fantasy VII sleep theme at the beginning. Day four. Okay, let's get down to business and start today's morning assembly. But gee, what a day yesterday. The Dunko Island is officially a one-star resort now. Let's keep it up and aim for two stars. Let's see, what's it take to get two-star rating? I need to get satisfaction up to 5,000, popularity to 2,000. I have to clear out the lighthouse and the hills. Looks like the bigger tasks, uh, the biggest task is to clear the lighthouse and the hills. Does that sound doable? Well, both areas are pretty close to the plaza, so if you continue to take care of the trash and save money like you've been, you've done before, we shouldn't run any problems. Okay. Cool. Yes, yeah, so let's keep doing what we've been doing and then some. Good luck, Kazaka-san. Well, we'll do our part too, right, Miku? Muku? That's right. Of course. We need to start attracting visitors. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Now that we're a one-star resort, we ought to start thinking about how to invite guests to come stay on the island. We've got to show the whole world that this island's one extraordinary resort. The best place to relax and have fun. And if we manage to attract visitors, we'll be paid for their stay, which will increase the cash flow exponentially. That's why guests are paramount to the island's growth. Okay, but where are they going to stay? Well, they can... Uh, go camping or something. How wild! So wild. Are you serious? No way we can get away with that. Well, if they have no place for them to stay, then we got no cho choice but to build something ourselves. I'll take care of it. You will? Yeah. You want a tent? A cottage? No problem. I can build anything. But if you're gonna have me construct guest lodgings, you're gonna need the capital. Yes, first order of business is amassing enough funding ourselves. Go find me if you got enough cash. I'll see what I can make for you then. Lodgings. This is going to be important. By paying Kenzo Doko Bucks to build lodgings, guests will come to stay on the island. Lodgings differ in maximum occupancy and rank. The higher the lodgings rank, the more luxurious the guests will find their stay. Placing lodgings. Lodgings will have been built. Uh, that have been built by Kenzo can be placed in edit mode or from your bag, just like furnishing. The entrance of lodgings must be placed along a road. Lodging restrictions. Guests can be accommodated the morning of the day after you place a lodging. Only a limited number of lodgings can be placed on the island. At first, only one lodging can be placed on the island, but as you continue to clear out areas, you'll be able to place three on the north side of Doko Island. Whew. At the fields, caves, and forests, and two on the south side of Doko Island. At the entrance and great tree hills and lighthouse got it oh whoops i missed one gotcha if we make guest lodgings the island will get even livelier you see oh the thought just makes my heart race with excitement okie dokie let's get go over today's workload 
Let's make it happen, team. Good morning, everyone. Let's work hard today. What to do? Well, then. All right, today's daily is craft one furnishing, gather for collection point, destroy five rocks. Text to be captured through bugs and through fish. Island information. Let's have fun today. We are a one star. Real exciting stuff, you see. All right, we are one star resort, and yeah, can I clear out the hills? That is actually a lot of money. All right, let's begin. Come on, let's get the work no, stop stop to we reach the top. the top. All. Alrighty, time to start. Go, 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 go. Kenzo can upgrade, 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 upgrade. I know he can upgrade. The question is, do I want to upgrade or save my money? All right, that's one. Welcome. Let's see, lodgings are... Okay, I could buy a tent. I do not want that. I could buy a tent. I'll buy two. Upgrade my bat. Nice. Alright, thank you. Thanks. Alright. I know that. If you want to bring in guests, we'll have to set up lodgings. We'll do that now. We'll set the lodgings up on the right side. We'll set them up there. Nice. Yep. Alright. Where are the lodgings? Oh, there they are. Now the lodgings are finally ready, we can start inviting guests to stay here. I'll bring up tomorrow's assembly. Guests can be accommodated in the morning. Oh, okay, yep. We already read that. Alright, let me equip my bat. Let's see how much faster it is. Oh, a little bit, yeah. One daily. I also now aluminum edge wooden table. Nice. Gotcha. Ooh, a garden chair. Inventory's full. Damn it. <laughs> the big C, a cockroach. Let's fish. What was I aiming for? Gotcha. All right, we got. Oh no. Nice. Oh, level two tiger prong. Nice. Nice. Reminds me, I have 
have to go back to my cabin to change my gotcha. music list. Alright. I put that away. I gotta destroy more rocks. Give me a second. Not you. No, 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 no. We'll start with episode three. Might as well listen to these. Hey, Aloha. Where are you at? What you doing? Hopefully it's something on our list today as me and Big T are taking you on a virtual tour of Honolulu in a little segment we call Hotspot. That's right. And whether it's your first time touching down, you're out here once again, or you're living local, there's always something to do, someone to see, and somewhere to be out here in Hawaii. Now, to slip in a word from our sponsor, if you're not sure where to start, swing by Alo Happy Tours on one of their many locations across town, and they'll point you in the right direction. That spot with the banana guy running around. Yeah, the banana guy. What do you mean, their, their mascot? Peepee. <laughs> He's supposed to be a palm tree. Hey, all I know is to me, he's Let's the banana guy. Knock you it wanna off. whip up a hey, smoothie. Stop. Hey, you know what? Smoothies are really good. I like the ones with the bananas and the strawberries in it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. All right, anyway, while you do that, I'm gonna dive right into the fun. Now, obviously, the first thing a lot of people are gonna do is uh, probably wanna hit up Aloha Beach. Catch some rays, catch some waves, catch some frisbees, volleyballs, you name it. You don't catch the volleyball with your face. Anyway, there's always something going on out there, whether you're on the sand or in the water. Go, Make sure the bad guys go. will you. catch you. Wow, well, first banana guys and now bad guys? Yeah. I'm yeah. Something to in here. Yeah. You know, like when you're out there swimming in the ocean or just having a stroll on the pier, you tell him you don't run into bad guys. No. I mean, I do see some weirdos from time to time, but it's not like they're picking a fight. Uh, I guess they don't want to miss the great white howly. Oh, impressive, bro. Yeah. No. Probably just think I was too broke to cry. I've had this same shirt since before some of them were born. Then cross the street and grab a new umbrella. Then while you're at it, grab a cup of coffee at Morning nice. Rose, then head up to Ooh. Resort Boulevard or Makani Avenue for some good eats. I knew you'd bring food into this somehow. Tell us more. Oh, I will, brada. Well, Waikiki is all about its hole-in-the-wall spots. Stuff that ain't on no tour guide. Kevin's Hot Dogs, Pizzeria gotcha. Feliz, oh, and Mama Masala. <laughs> yeah, oh, that awesome. is where your taste buds can handle the heat. Hey, don't forget Oahu Burger. Thick, juicy patties, man. Mm. I don't know what they nice. put in there, but that stuff is addictive. Mm. And if you get ketchup and grease all over you, gotcha. head west to the Worldwide Market Village for more shops and more food so you can repeat the cycle all over again. That seems like a place I'm going to have to buy myself a new shirt. Or... You could save your money and wear a bit, or, you know, do your laundry. <laughs> Not me, brada. I stay local all the way through. Only kidding, Mike. Now, we want to keep heading west on the map or go up to Little Japan, huh? You know what? Let's keep it east of Aloha Bridge for now and do Little Japan. You got it. Thing is, Little Japan all right. this always area is clear. a mystery to for it. Now. Mm, it's still too much reading. You to go, my tempted. friend. I know somewhere you'd like. Shinobi Sushi. Well, it's interesting. It's it's a cross between a family restaurant and an authentic sushi bar. So you think the decor, you know, comes comes across as sometimes a little bit hokey, you know, with the ninjas sticking to the walls everywhere. But I'd say it's also, you know, part of the charm, assuming the ninjas don't uh, try to kill you while you're eating your sushi. Ah, uh, you know what, though? Keeping you on your toes. Ah, uh, that's what I like about my sushi. You know what? I always wondered. What makes a sushi bar <laughs> authentic? I, I always thought myself. sushi was just sushi, you know? Uh, you know, it's a very good point. Sushi can just be sushi, and a lot of different folks have different answers. But to me, you know, it's, what's the sushi consists of? You know what I mean? If it's nigiri, sashimi, or tamale, Maki, you know, those are, those are hand rolls. I, I consider that traditional sushi, myself, personally. Oh, slow down, you're losing me, bro. Dunk it in tempura batter, throw it in the fryer, and put the toppings on. That's fusion for American sushi. Okay, so American sushi's got more stuff in it. American everything has more stuff in it. That's now, true. If you're a real purist, you might say all the extras hide the flavor. But you also have to consider that raw fish isn't exactly common on the mainland. So getting, say, a, a baked salmon roll slathered in sauce gets you to take the sushi plunge, I say more power to you. That's right. Let people enjoy what they wanna. Agreed. Anyway, moving along to some more Make traditional one stuff. Of we have the Ryukai Shrine in the upper part of Little Japan. It's very rare to have a Shinto shrine outside of Japan, and that nice. alone makes it a big cultural landmark. Mm, definitely a lot of history there. Yeah, then you have the Dharma Yudhima Armory. They sell katanas, uh, 
ninja daggers, uh, ninja throwing stuff, probably ninja suits, ninja boots, ninja, if it's got ninja in it, they probably sell it, so I'm not sure you can take any of that on the plane with you, though, so maybe the shoes and the hat. Kunai, I was trying to think the of the yes, word, that's kunai, kunai, that's the word, that's, that's, the one. The, that's one of the words. I hear you. Everyone, everyone else beware, too, I, if I saw someone with a big old sword coming at me, oh, I'd be running the other way. If they came at you with a sword, the cops would be all over their ass. Swords never win in a gunfight. Mm, I don't know, Mikey, you never see those samurai flicks where they slice up the bullets midair, like... <laughs> yeah, you know what, I, I would say I have, I have seen the, the movies, and I would say also don't... Try that uh, at, at home, mm. you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what you can try? There's a spot I know in Little Japan. Used to go there with an old buddy of mine. Oh. Oh, apparently. Mm -hmm. This should be where the lighthouse is. I'm gonna sip my coffee. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Wait, the wash bucklers are here too? Oh, that guy looks hazardous. I've been waiting for you, Ichimon Kosuka. Well, you all about you from my cap. You signed me the safe got this area here. See, if you want back, you better batter up and get swinging. All right, you asked for it. Here's your eviction notice. Uh, revolver... Re revolve Let's ball. do it! Nah, it's just revolve, people usually say. Yeah, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, don't it? Man, but the place is... Hop in! Oh, pack two Friday and Saturday night! I'm trying to dodge, Post but... Now, yeah, still in business, last I heard. And I would imagine that... Hey, most people stop. rather drink at Ocean Boys down at Crystal Aloha. Tell you to crack this nice thing, knock it off! Hey, Maybe, uh, stop. take a dip in the pool all buzzed and come back out even more buzzed. Because they might be vodka in the pool water. Are you buzzed right now? Um, you guys are broken. Keep the alcohol hey, at stop. home, huh? Okay. Okay. Don't try any of that at home, huh? You know what you should um. try at home? A street surfer. <laughs> Spoken like a true howley. What? Um, I don't You're think they were supposed to just stand there, but I will accept it. Uh, uh, nobody said you'd be this strong. Wanna go again? I still got energy to spare. Get the hell with that. I'm through here. I mean, you stood there. I was just attacking you. Just wait until the Marauder and the Invader hears of this. They'll both re they're both ridiculously strong. No way they'll let you off easy. Fine by me. I'll take them both down. You won't be smug when me and the boys come back to trash this place. Man, they're so focused on dumping here. Okay, now that the wash bucklers are gone, I should do what I can to clean up the clean it up to make it easier to clean the site. All right. They're fun. Who cares if you look like a doofus? Ah, who cares if you're clogging up the streets, getting in everyone's way, huh? Hey, share the road. Send those for bicycles. And those guys don't do it. I'm. I guess. I figure if you're gonna ride around on what looks like a weed whacker with wheels, just use your feet. Walking free, ain't it? And you're in Honolulu of all places. Take it slow. You're in paradise, brah. Wow. Ooh, you big just one. Need Ooh. To the times because a weed whacker with wheels. Seems like it would get the job done faster. I got a potato. Mm. He's from the guy who still bumped. I'm gonna My favorite starch. Hey, Miracle Johnson is still the king, no matter what anyone says. And yeah, okay. Living in the 80s, Mike. All right. Well, surely we can agree on something. Trolley bus. Mm. All right. Trolley bus ain't bad. Gets you where you wanna go while you have time to soak in the sight. Especially when you got a blister. Oh yeah, that's a hell of a lot cheaper than a taxi. No matter how you get around. For sure. If you're here, you're gonna have a good time. Man, let's get this more fun than you can off an operation. <laughs> hey, that's our cue to talk story, cuz. That it is, Big D. Speaking of shaking, let me tell you about this monkey I saw last week. What, you mean you haven't looked in a mirror since? You know what? Gotcha. I walked right into that one, so I'm just gonna blame myself, because there is no such thing as... Too much monkey business in our line of work. Just ape me up. I'm gorilla for it. I'm there's some other gorilla ape pun in there. No, look, I was just in town. Wow, on this sometimes hurts to listen to. Okay, oh, oh, date night, Mike. Yeah, yeah, but some date there was this monkey, right? Not a robot, 
The guy dressed as a monkey, or a palm tree, or a banana, or whatever you thought that other thing was. It was an actual animal All right. waving this maracas is our area's around cleared out and for dancing now. to a beat. It was something else. I'd never seen anything like it. Nah, was it some kind of street performance or uh, something like that? I mean, I guess it had to be. And the song that was playing was so catchy, the crowd started joining in, too. There were old folks, little kids, people walking their dogs, even the dogs themselves. And, of course, you know, me and the missus had to bust a few signature moves, too. You know no I mean? act. No act, brah. All right, you're just making stuff up now. What, is it really hard to believe that I can dance? I'm talking about the rest, Big Mike. Let's just say you're known to uh, spin a good yarn, <laughs> huh? Might as well have said it was, I don't know, a, a monkey in a hamster ball going around collecting bananas. <laughs> Did you monkey believe ball. that? <laughs> I, you know what? What is it with you and bananas today? <laughs> hey, I, you know what? It's tropical. We're in tropical climate, brother. It's I tropical and tropical. It does. It does indeed. Yeah, it sums up our show, right? Mm. I know, you know what? It's very, it's very well said. Gotcha. If I was gonna label our show in one word, it would be bananas. You heard it here first, folks. Fruit facts with Mike Ooh, Hula. Silver <laughs> Nova. That's gonna be our new segment. Yeah. We gotta get it. Yeah, we gotta yeah, get yeah, a yeah. sponsor for people this. are clamoring for yeah. fruit, facts. fruit facts. We need them. We need them. Yeah. All right, folks. I think we gotta call it. Stay yeah. tuned for more Mike and Pete. Is that gold? Hold on, I never signed up for that. Only on K Lulu yeah. FM. Palm trees sway and the yeah. DJs play. Get you next time. Alright, first things first. How do I adjust my music again? Well, let's first end it. I'm making some decent progress. Alright, time to start getting guests, which I think is my main money maker. Good morning, everybody. Got the gun sent lodgings yesterday, which means today the day today's the day we can try and invite guests to stay. <laughs> Woohoo! We can finally have visitors! Who exactly are these guests though? We actually haven't invited them yet. So now's the time to figure out whether or not we accommodate their lodging requests. It's been a while since we had people visit, so there are a few curious folks interested in our island. But since this place is pretty run down, there weren't any rich people or resort connoisseurs who reached out. If we keep cleaning up the island and gain popularity, maybe they'll come and stay with us someday. So, are we going to go and invite any guests to visit? You can have the honor of deciding, Kazuka-san. After all, you were the one who arranged the lodgings. I think it's only right you get to choose. I think so, too. You pick, Kazuka-san. I always ask each applicant what they want. How their stay. The more you fulfill their requests, the more, the more satisfied they'll be. So bear in mind when inviting guests. Got it. Every guest will request that. Will have a request that once fulfilled will boost their approval. Requests will fall into one of the following categories: satisfy activities on the island, qual, quality of guest lodgings, type of furnishings on the island, and preferred special speci specialties. Be sure to check everyone's requests when choosing the invite. Okay, let's go over to today's workload and decide our very first guest. Interesting. Let's do our best Good today. morning. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. He wants sleazy? We'll give him sleazy. Oh, wait. No, never mind. We got this. Oh. Okay. Let's make the most of today! Alright, let's invite her. Yeah, we'll invite her. <laughs> oh, wait, I can invite multiple people. Is that it? Is that all I have to do? Okay, I think that's it. Well, we are looking pretty good in the rustic, and we have some elegant and some pop. No sleazy. The map's looking like we're getting there. There are currently no guests. Did I do it right?
I think I did it right. This is for the guest list. All right. Then I'll invite them. Uh, then I'll give them a call right away. Now, they're all sharing a tent. Oh, wait. Is it money day? Hey, hello. Hello. Welcome. Hey, we've been welcome. expecting you. Welcome to Dojo. Come on, let's get to work. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Do I have to do certain things to make them happy while they're here? Looks like the first arrival went smoothly. Excellent. This is the first big step forward. We've always done up to three day overnight tours, which means everyone's check everyone checks out on the third morning. Why three specifically? A while back, I read in the magazine that a three-day stay makes for satisfactory overnight trip, ideally. You get business advice from a travel mag? Huh. <laughs> we had some customers leave around the second day before because they were so dissatisfied. <laughs> if no customers make it to the third day, I don't think my heart could take it. That's why I intend to have us satisfy our visitors as much as possible. We'll be a happy, cheery island. I'll keep her stocking goods at Matayoshi uh, and picking up trash every morning. Any resources you need, come find them at the collection point. Gotcha Pin and I will be playing a record on the island broadcasting system to tell our lovely visitors all about the Doko Island's allure. And we'll give them a proper Dodoko greeting too. kazuka san if you happen to come across a visitor, make sure to give a warm-hearted greeting as well. Satisfy guests will have a bigger tip for their stay, so let's do our best to appeal to them. Okay, this is important. You have three days' time to give your guests the vacation of a lifetime. If they leave satisfied, you'll get an even greater tip when when the, they check out, and a portion of that will be converted into dollars. Yay. Guest approval will go up when you fulfill their four requests. You can also raise guest approval by greeting them with an emote, X, or giving them presents. You can... Gift anything that is Dodoko Island specifically, but souvenirs in particular could be can give satisfaction an even greater boost. Like, lastly, please be aware that inappropriate conduct, such as hitting guests with your bat, will lower guests. Wow, who would have known? Guest budgets. Every guest will have a different budget. Someone with a larger budget may tip more at checkout. However, it will be more difficult to fulfill their requests. Be careful when choosing which guests to invite to the island, and keep in mind that guests who leave satisfied will come back as regulars, with an even bigger budget. Guest approval ratings displayed in the figure, the dissatisfied, the move, satisfied, pleased, overjoyed. If your guests are dissatisfied by the end of the second day, they will depart next morning. Warning icons. Dissatisfied guests, no lodgings. Uh, these icons indicate a problem that needs to be addressed, otherwise the guests may leave before the tour is over. Raise guest approval or build new lodgings before the problem gets worse. Wealth. Wealthier guests have larger budgets, but their requests are more difficult to fulfill. Present icons. Has yet to receive a souvenir today. Wants a souvenir. Received a souvenir. Okay, so if it has the red, keep an eye. Note that gifting a souvenir to someone who wants one will greatly increase satisfaction. Greeting icons has yet to be greeted, has been greeted. And if all goes well, I'll convert a percentage of your profits to dollars for you, Kazuka-san. Really? Thanks, man. Also, I, I, yeah, I got $1,000, don't I? Consider a reward for your efforts reconstructing and managing the Doko Island. I'm glad I can finally repay you now after all you've been helping us for the next the nothing. Indeed! <laughs> I'll also work uh, hard to earn Kazuka san more money. Aw, oh, thank you. Then let's make the most of today and do our uh, god damn it. You guys. Huh. I, s <clears throat> I see you scored yourself some guests. Build a little cozy in now, did ya? And they're here for three day tour. At that. Not, but not if we tear down those lodgings and force them to go home. W wait, what? Today was just a little... Reconnaissance, let's say. You folks back be raised here at Dimash Crew in action. Man, you guys just really want to dump on this island. Go dump somewhere else. They want to demolish the guest lodgings? I'm sure it'd be no sweat off their back to do it within a day. What we should do, Kazuka-san? I'll just get rid of them before they get the chance. Simple as that. 
As soon as those pirates have found the island, let me know. Thank you, Kazuka san. I'll make the island a wide. I'll make an island wide announcement the moment I see them. Where's my tanuki? Now the lodgings. They'll face justice, you hear? Attack on lodgings. The washbucklers may strike while tourists tour is in progress. If they're not sent packing within the day, your guests will leave in the middle of the tour. If there's an attack, an alert will be broadcasted across the island. So always be on. Okay, so if it takes a day. All right, let's keep my uh, keep. Let's greet my grass. Hello. Hey. Ma'am, I would love to give you the silver clown. Sir, I would love to gift you this. You know what? And sir, sir, please. An employee, unemployed leech uses his parents' money. You get a scorpion. Nova. All right, I gotta clear out some areas before I do anything. I want the prices of these going down. Man, that, he does not like dodging in this mode. Knock it off. Hey, stop. All right, this area is clear. Now let's actually destroy everything. Man, how do these guys just sneak up at night and just dump all the crap? Oh wait. All right, I got a mark. I forgot about that. Yeah, you guys enjoy the island. Hopefully you actually enjoy it. I haven't done much. I really want to do more, but... Hey. Alright, give me a second. Hey, a rare one! Ooh. He was satisfied with the red parasol. I'll have to build more things for them. Nice. Ooh, they're satisfied with the grace of Dan. I just put that there. I should. Play. Have you checked? Not yeah, I'll do it after. Then. Wait, what? Hi, kitty. Ooh, we're all platinum ore. A silver stinger. All right, we're D is halfway done, and there's a cat over there. All right, let's go see if the guests are happy. Go to the collection point. Oh, you like my wooden bench? Sweet. I mean, good. I'm, I'm happy, you guys. Are... You're kidding me. Knock it off. I'm just observing, I'm just observing. I'll build you guys more soon, don't worry. Alright. Alright, let's see. We need more. We need more. What can I build for them? We need furnishings. We need something for them. No, not an outdoor pool table. No. Ooh, a fountain. Oh, I need a pearl? A large jacuzzi and a pearl. I can get a surfboard set. I can 
can get a telephone booth. I can also get a jungle gym. I can say I outdid myself. Excuse me, sirs. Give me a second. I'll take these because I can just. Yeah, I can't put another one at the moment. All right. Actually, I can. Um... Oh yeah. Um. No. No. I think we're good. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. I hate I, I hate these buildings and the way they look, but yeah, whatever. Right, we're good here. And then we'll just put this over here for some reason. Alright, I hope you guys are... Yeah, our theme's now rustic. I mean, it was before, but now it is definitely rustic. I need to capture the three fish. Give me the butterfly. Give me the butterfly. Nice. Thank you. Detective agency chair, and I could have bought that. Gotcha. It, sweet. All right, let's just do this. I need to capture some fish. And it feels like I'm playing a live service game right now. God, grind. Except it's more relaxing than that. This is basically Animal Crossing. Gotcha. Ooh. Okay, we're level two with you. There's no big fish over here. They're all small fry, but there's nothing wrong with that. Nice. All right, give me you. Then after this, I'll go up to the hills and I'm gonna take those guys out and clear out the gotcha. trash. We're midway through the day. You're satisfied with the jungle gym. Good, I'm happy. Nice. Keep walking around the island. I just got two more buildings that I built a while ago. Just gotcha. never stuck them out there. Nice. All right, Flounder is level three. Nice. Okay, dailies are all done. Alright, let's go beat up some people. Then we'll go to the other beach, do some fishing, see if there's any... They're unmoved. That's good. At least they're not dissatisfied. Stinger, level one. <laughs> nice. Man, I'm getting a lot of bugs right now. Gotcha. Oh, that's a really high jumping grasshopper. Oh, it's a gold grasshopper, too. Nice. All right, let's destroy all this. Okay, everyone's unmoved, which is good. It means we're going up in rank with them. Yes, keep spending the doko bucks. Make me rich. All right, we're at C. I might be able to afford this. And if I can, I can stick up more lodges. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Alright. Payday! Alright, can I destroy or fix this? I can. Let's do it. Alright. I can build more lodgings, I think. 
This entire area is clear. Perfect. Lighthouse is next. Oh, wait. Nice. A silver zinger. Hmm. I need to upgrade the net. How you doing, ma'am? I hope you're happy with Doko Island. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. I should move these, but I'll move them after. I want to see how their visit goes, then I'll try and adjust things. Alright. Oh, night time's gonna be hitting soon. Gotcha! Gotcha! You thought you could run, but you couldn't. You, however, are really, really high. Am I able to get you from here? Ooh, big one! Ooh, yes, I can. Muku! Cicada. Gotcha! Alright. That takes care of you. Oh yeah, didn't I make surfboard rack? Or did I not put it out? Because if I can, I'll put it out next to the beach. Let me see. I don't have it on me. Okay. I really hope you're happy. I'll wait before I hit someone by accident. I'm talking to you because that might be another thing. Man, he is really satisfied with the red parasol. What'll it be? Today? I want you to upgrade my bug net. Yes. I'm broke, but I'm happy. Thanks. Oh yeah, look at that net. Okay. All right, How about see. this one? Um, no. How about this one? Oh wait. Ooh. F gravel. This or one just, just a came core. in. Hmm. I mean, easily. Oh, please. Just, yeah. And, yeah. Thank you very much. I'm not selling yet. I got another big C. Alright. What do we have for more furnishings? Nothing. Oh, I could build another. Oh, I, I can move. Thank you. Man, they love that gray sedan. Actually, about right there. And now, yeah, you want to leave some space in between them. Nighttime's coming soon. Man, my island looks awful right now. Can't wait to actually build some decent things. Silver Flutter is level 2. Ooh, a gold chocolate. Oh, oh, we got a pearl. I need those. Gold jacuzzis. Supernova. Alright, let's
let's go back to my lodgings. And now we're gonna do edit mode. Um, ah, change interior. There we go. I like that. That's nice. That's a nice floor. Alright, let's sleep and get more people in for tomorrow. Yes. Also, I'm probably going to get attacked. Gotta keep an eye out for them. Day six. Good morning, everyone. So, we have new guests check in yesterday. How are things going, Kazuka-san? Keeping the guests satisfied is harder than I thought it'd be. Greeting them is one thing, but honestly, there's just not much to do on this island right now. Good point. If we place more things on the island and further enrich it, perhaps, we, perhaps the guests will find their stay more satisfying. Every guest has different expectations when it comes to perfect vacations, so it's much easier to satisfy the ones whose requests align more with the island's current design. Also, if you install vending machines or build other commercial facilities, you'll be able to earn extra income if any guests use them. Might be useful to have that kind of thing in the future. Furnishing themes. Yep. Some furnishings belong to one of the following themes. Rustic, sleazy, pop, and elegant. Whenever a guest interacts with or utilizes one of these themed furnishings, it can impact Dodoko Island. For instance, guest approval may improve, more Dodoko bucks may be earned, or island popularity will increase. Walking the path. Guests will use the island's pre-existing roads as well as any path you lay out, which means they'll be unable to access furnishings and facilities not connected to one of the paths with X while in edit mode. Please note guests with high standards won't interact with furnishings that they don't find satisfying. Guests also prioritize oh wait, prioritize furnishings of their preferred theme, which can be found in their requests. You don't say. Commercial facilities, huh? Sounds like businesses. Satoshi-san, what do you want to see built here? A cabaret club. <sighs> okay. Well, the possibilities are endless. Is there an easier way to increase satisfaction? Hmm. Maybe we can try giving them souvenirs. Oh. Yes, that's it. What have we got? Any island specialties or something? Well, we got mysterious bugs and mysterious fish. Nah, not those kind of specialties. I'm talking more like, you know, like a bento or some handcraft. Hmm. Right. We don't have anything like that at the moment. Some time ago we had a specialist in that sort of field, but he's no longer here. <sighs> and so, why just call him back? Huh? Uh-huh. But he's got more important things to focus on. Nah, he wanted to stay, but you're the one who pressured to leave, aren't you? Pretty sure you just asked to come run back here in a heartbeat. Besides, you miss him too, don't you? Well, yeah, of course, but... Sounds like some pretty heavy stuff. Mm. When you're in business for this long, you see and hear all sorts of things. Come on, Matoshi. You're, who are you kidding? Be honest with yourself. Wouldn't it be great if you two can, could have a happy little family reunion? Oh, his brother. You're right, Kenzo-san. I don't know what I was thinking. I do want to see him again. I'll go give him, I'll go ahead and give him a call. Okay then. Time to get okay. Guest list. Let's make it happen. Good team. morning, everyone. Let's work hard today. What to do? Alright. Let's make the most of today. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't. I can do that one, but I can't do that one? Wait, what? That's weird. I can do this one, but not... Ah, okay. Just means we don't have one. Okay. okay. We're getting their popularity. Real exciting stuff, you see. Alright, we're looking pretty good. The guests are going to have to wave hi to them. Let's begin... Is there one already? Okay then, let's put our best foot forward and... The dope dope. Oh wait. Wait, one second. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, never mind. What's wrong with Toshi-san? Um, about that specialist I mentioned before. Gave him a call at 
turns out he's already here. For real? Wait, seriously? Wow, he's... He really want to come back, so where is he now? Hey. Closer than you think. Come on now, Sabaru. Yes. Hello. That's me. Oh, a kid. Name's Ichiban Kazuga. Nice to meet you, Sabaru. Not just any kid. He's the same person we were talking to about earlier. But Toshi's, well, I guess you could say he's his boy. Oh, wait, what? His son? I thought brother. Huh? Wait. What? The Toshi son? You have a son? It's not what you think. Not bio biologic bio oh my biologically. Biologically. I've never been with a woman since the day I was born. <laughs> Even though I've been to so many cavalry clubs. Yeah, didn't need that mental image. So where did this kid come from then? Um well you see I I was abandoned when I was a baby on this island. What? I see. So you went to the Doka Beach one morning and found Savaru alone in a cradle. Alright, and with some money too. Child support, I suppose, from his parents who abandoned him. We were at a loss what to do back then, but one thing's for sure. We couldn't just leave him there. I considered sending him for an institution, but there's there was a chance the parents would come back for him. So until then, we decided that every, everyone on this island would help raise him. Sabaru took to us right away. If he was ever down about his folks leaving him, he never showed it. He's always been a good kid. I wasn't sad at all. Why would I be when I have my was with my real family? I love the Doko Island, everyone who lives here, so I'm really happy to be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're one tough kid, Sabaru. My background's pretty pretty similar too, actually. I was left in a coin locker as a baby and raised in a soap land. So, I get where you're coming from. Um, what's a soap land? Uh, about that, uh, well, you see, at Matoshi's favorite place. Why would he tell a kid that? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I know what kind of place that is. I know all kinds of things, after all. Oh, uh, what, seriously? <laughs> I guess Sabaru played us all. He's brilliant. He's always had crazy good grades, and he's sparred than anyone else on this island. He's got a bright future ahead of him. But you can't get an education here. Never mind, a decent one. That's why I enrolled him in Hawaii. That explains things, but you sure it's okay for you to be back here? What about school? Eh, it's okay. If I don't attend class for a while, I already earned all my required credits. Besides, helping rebuild the island is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I believe doing my part here would be an inevitable, in, oh, invaluable learning experience. Wow, this kid's really put together. Also, I, I feel kind of lonely without my friends on this island. So, I'm here to stay, at least for the time being. I look forward to working together with everyone. Totally! Drive! Back, right back at you. Good to have you on board, Sabaru. <laughs> Good. Guess that is that, then. So, let's get Sabaru settled in. Right. Just like before, we'll have Sabaru take up his old position as the island's project manager. Mm -hmm. Uh, what now? The project manager. He'll be in charge of developing the island's specialty souvenirs, as we discussed before. He's also pl uh, he'll also plan and, and execute any policies and events that could make your guests happy. I'll even attend lectures on revitalizing consumer interests in public. Holy cow, kid! Jeez, this kid's very dedicated and smart. Those will definitely come in handy. Wow. Revitalizing customer consumer interest. Damn, elementary school kids learn these kind of what damn elementary schools learn these kind of things these days? Oh no, Saparo Kun doesn't attend elementary school. He skips straight to college. University actually. Seriously? I'll come up with various policies and product plans on my end, but I'll need the help acquiring a budget and materials too. I'd appreciate if you could let me a hand there. This kid's on a whole another level. Holy cow. Visit Saboru at the cabin at the Doko Beach, and you can ask him to design new specialty souvenirs. Pay him at the Doko Bucks to design souvenirs, then use your own materials. You have to create them. If you give souvenirs to guests, it'll increase satisfaction. 
Even more so if guests who actually want souvenirs receive one. Some souvenirs can even be consumed to recover health, so when the battle against the washbucklers gets rough, try using the souvenirs you have in your bag. Come on, let's get to no work. No stop till we reach the top. Um, I'm gonna get some money real quick. Are there fish in the bill today? Eh, no, but I'm... Oh, yeah, give me a second. Okay, let's fish. I'll upgrade my harpoon next. At least get level one everything. Gotcha! Alright, slapjack tune. Oh, skipjack tune. Why is that slapjack? <laughs> nice! Gotcha! Alright. What am I aiming at? Well, there's a mojo. Who knows? Gotcha. We got silver chirper. All right, I need more. Ooh, a long table. Mm, nice. All right, that's three bugs. Oh wait, popularity just increased. Oh, a poison map. Who is pinging me so much on Discord? Let me guess. If I guess right now, they want to play Pal. Which I have nothing against Power World, but sometimes you just want to play this. A large outdoor AC unit. Alright, let's chop down the tree. Destroy 50 trees. Alright. Let me get a little more money. Gather resources and then we'll. Um, oh, yeah, I can fast travel, can I? Um, go to the plaza. Uh, Wait, what? Knock it off. Really, guys? Are we doing this? Oh, wait, give me a second. Aloha! No, Mom. Hello! Alright, everyone's been hello too. Gotcha! Guy Green the Dogo Bug, level 2, now it's a 10. Gotcha, B! Alright. Craft one type of furnishing, which I shall do now. Oh, I grabbed it. Might as well. Oh, might as well. Second, let's see what the Discord's all about. Uh, okay. All right, let's just craft something. A fashionable health center. It brings up the sleazy. You know, this is a nice simple cafe table. Now, where do I put this? And then I can get two chairs. Now, what are some chairs that'll go great with it? Actually, let's get some stools. Brand spanking new. Hello. Excuse me, everybody. We'll put this here with a stool here and here. 
All right, now we'll go talk to the kid who I am very shocked is in college, but yeah, whatever. He's just basically a Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I got some extra Dodoko bucks. Sure is nice out today. Alright, let's develop. Oh! Oh, wait, wait, actually. Uh, do I have enough? Um. Let's do Saki. Alright. <laughs> uh, maybe. Alright, we got two. Now let's produce. Little souvenir for ya. And done. Alright, let's give the lady and the two guys souvenirs. Hello, gents. I got something for you. Have some sake. Nova. You, ma'am, have this. Arigato. And you, sake. Arigato ne. Arigato ne. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna go clear up pests. I got a feeling these next few episodes are just gonna be a very chill Dodoko Island. People are satisfied with school. Oh wait, there's more? Stinger. Also, now some people are satisfied. We're also next to B rank with this. Alright, this area is clear. Hey, a rare one! Okay, we have some happy people. We got some happy people. Oh, she's not that happy. She's like, eh. Listen, lady, get happy already. Ooh. A bakery sign. I should make a bakery. Alright, now the other guy is satisfied. Hey. Blue butterfly, rank two. Nice. 
Doko box, holy cow. Doesn't even feel like I earned that much yet. Welcome. This one just came in. Um this one just came in. Why would I want that? This one just came in. About this one. Ooh, but no, not yet. Actually, let me sell. What do we have that I can sell in storage? What's well, a lot of money? Well, the vinyl sheet, which I made, I'll sell. Alright, now I'm this gonna one purchase just came in. you. Oh, actually, I could just purchase a fluorescent office. No. We'll buy that for now. See you again soon. I don't have enough for you. I could buy a chair or a. No, I don't want any of those. Got your feed! Waiting. Soon. Alright, someone spent the doko bucks for the day's almost over. Whoops. Alright, let's build some things. Sort by blueprint, satisfaction. Uh, apparently if I have that, satisfaction shoot. Ooh, a coffee truck. Mmm. Yeah, I'll build that. I say I outdid myself. I want to know how he built that. Mong Jong Te. Ooh, I should build that. I build right. Um, you know what? We'll put that here for now. Okay, satisfaction's up. Have some coffee? Why not? Yay! A dream machine used to grind those back in the old nice. Yakuza games. You have a chance of getting something real good. Sometimes. Oh, you're fast. You have to be special. Nice. Ah, oh, it's just a jellyfish.
Yeah, I should. Hmm. I'm also gonna decorate and put my wall and lighting up. Hmm. There we go. It's not bad. It could be better, but it's not bad. Let's wrap it up. Day seven. Let's do our best today. Good morning. Time to get ready for the morning assembly. Let's have fun today. All right. Can I fill anyone in this Let's tent? Let's make the most of today. No. All right. I just got to clear the lighthouse, which is going to be my big part of the day. We'll do the dailies and head right there. Hip hip hooray! Oh, they requested extens extensions on their time. Nice. Nice. That means I'm doing something right. Hello. Hello. So I'm giving you a bottle of sake, ma'am. I'm giving you a bra. And so I am giving you. Uh, another sake. Arigatane. Gotcha. You tried running. Gotcha. All right, Matt has been ranked up. Cicada's up. Alright, kid, what can we do? Um... The most expensive thing is pasta. Which is from... Eh, let's do something simple. Yeah, we'll do the turtle. Do all the cheaper things first. Okay, I have none of those. I'm gonna make more bras. How's that for you? Ooh. And jump. Let's not break the game. And done. Little souvenir for you. Sign. All right, I think I'll clear out the one area. Then I'm gonna pause it here and resume the recording later. Actually, no, I'll just keep going. I'll be finishing this one soon. guests alone. They paid to be here. Clear this area and yeah. Alright, we're at a 
B now. You know what's funny? I started listening to those radio shows and I just stopped. Fall. All right, let's go drop things off. How much is it? Oh my god, it's a little more, yeah. How satisfied are you all today? All right, we're happy, you're happy. Oh, yeah, everyone's happy. That's a good sign. Keep these two on me. Oh, that is way quicker. Let's craft something with DIY. I can craft a unassuming eatery, but it's sleazy. I can also craft a bar, but the bar might be useful for sleazy customers. All right, let's just see. Furnishings, I can get that. Mmm, that'd be nice in my house, not gonna lie. I know. I could get some surfboards going. Yeah, no, definitely not do. I could probably get one of these. I'd say I outdid myself. All right, I'll put that somewhere. I can also make an elephant statue. That's pop. That's elegant. That's a cream arm chair. Oh, I need, I need vegetables. It's a red vending machine. Hmm. Take out sushi. I... Okay. Oh, right, I forgot I'm sorting my... There we go. Well, at least they're happy. And you are all extremely happy. Oh, look, you're out here today. That's a 
big boy. Hey, a rare one! Bear Kunda. Show up at night, eh? Well, I need to explore more night. Gotcha. Nice. All right, that's all my dailies again. On top of that, that area is already cleared. Now it's just basically material gathering. Dun, 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 dun. Every type of sea treasure, so now I'll do you getting repeats there, okay. Circuit boards, circuit boards, give me some coral. See how much money I get from this. All right, there's no way to get up there yet. Going down. <laughs> Don't run, or the insects get scared. Ooh, rank two on the rainbow bug. Right, at the cicada. Nice. I got the rhinoceros beetle. There's the gold beetle on the other side, and this one is usually a cicada. Alright, and sometimes this one's a gold beetle. And... Silver Greyhorn! Hmm. Blue Butterfly. Alright, 
So I take it tomorrow morning, you're all gonna be leaving. I hope. Alright, let's sleep and see how this ends. Right, now they should leave, right? This is the third day. Man, this one's actually taking a while to load. Come on, guys. Hmm. I should download this on my Steam Deck and grind all this out on my own time. Holy cow. Oh, game. Are you broken? Game. Game. Uh-oh. I can't change the, uh... Oh, damn it. It's stuck on changing outfits. I think my game broke. Oh, man. I haven't saved it in a while, but luckily it's- Oh, wait, oh! Done. Finally! We actually made it to checkout day! Now we can- Now that we can accommodate- accommodate that guest, the Doko Islands bound to recover. We can- We could only get this far, thank you, Kazuka- Kazuka? Oh, jeez. Not just me alone, everyone played a big part in this. Still! From now on, for every guest checking in, I'll cut a percentage of the profits and convert it into dollars for your pay. If uh, we become even more pro pro prosperous, we'll give you we'll be able to give you a raise, Kazakhstan. So keep up the good work. And without further ado, it's time for the guests to check out. Okay, I think they enjoy. Let's make it happen, team. Good morning, time. Okay. Okay, they're all happy. Oh, jeez, that is a bonus. Excellent work, Kasuka son. I'll cut you a portion of the tour profits and dollars and compensate you for the past three days. Oh, I got money, baby. Oh, yeah. As Alan gains more popularity, new guests will send in requests to come in for a tour. You can also invite people to the island by speaking to prospective guests in Hawaii. Guests who'd love to visit are added to the guest list will become, oh, and will even ask to return. Also, by maintaining the island's popularity, wealthier guests will more likely submit a request to stay. By the way, we got a new lodging request. Let me introduce you. Just Oh, rank C, don't have it. Asobinikimasta! Firefly? You wanna see sleazy goods? Slightly sleazy. And slightly pop. Asobinikimasta! Oh, geez, yeah, okay. Elegant silver pincher. Satisfaction, okay. Alright, she wants B lodgings. 7,000 satisfaction. Let's have fun today! Let's have well, fun today! Dun. I mean, my lodging rank isn't there, but he might be happy? I have a lot... I'm never gonna touch these guys. Okay, so... I have to make the place either slightly sleazier and poppier. Real exciting stuff, you see. Okay. And she wants to see a firefly. Okay. Holy cow, who keeps messaging me? Stop it! Okay. 
Alright, you might be alright. Alright, you Let's want slightly sleazy, so and then you... Ah. Thank you for Blair. You. Oh, that's not right. Oh, no. Remove. 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 I'm not... Okay. They're doing their thing. Real exciting stuff, you see. You want sleazy? I'll give you some sleazy. And then we got you want lodging rank C. I will ask you. Okay. All right. How are we doing? Okay, we need to clear out the lighthouse. Oh wait. I can clear out the lighthouse. Let's make the most of today. All right, I'm gonna make some slightly sleazy things. All right, let's invite all the guests. Hey, welcome. Oh, welcome. welcome. Hey, we've been welcome. expecting you. Welcome to Dodoka. Asobinikimashita. All right, don't worry, guys. I'm gonna make you some sleazy things. All right, let's keep improving the Doko Island and make it more. And make more and more and attract tons of guests. Today's a brand new day. Let's. Alright. I got sleaze. Actually, I think I got some sleaze on me. Give me a second. Yeah, I do. Okay, I have that. Also. Okay. You all have to go away, and then I will. Wait, I keep forgetting I can do that. Eh, I am a special type of man. Do I have anything? No, I'll have to make some. Hey! Hello! No. Alright, let's introduce all my guests, and then I'll get sleazy things going. They got the... Alright, right here. We'll put one right here. Do your guys a sleazy, don't you worry. Gotcha. Alright, I need sleazy. Need sleazy, 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 sleazy. We'll just do blueprint. Outdoor furnishing. Um house. Yeah, building. I could we'll build a bar. Where do I put this? Guys, leads it up. I am going. Oh, it actually. All right. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, give me the bugs. I need a bug. All right, now collect. To call a day. Yes, Knock it off. Hey, stop. Yeah. 
Locked, will you? There we go. All right, we'll bring this down to an A if I'm able, and then yeah. Nice. Did it. We can now be a rank two. All the conditions to the next our next star has been clear. We just need Matoshi to contact the resort review board. I'll go talk to him about it. Let's do it. Hit that one before I accidentally hit people. I want my island to actually look like a resort island. Right now it looks like a small town. Well, let them be. Welcome! Oh, that's how I edit playlist. Okay. Don't mind, let's see. Perfect, cause I guess I'll call the resort review board right away. Alright, once we get this star, I'm gonna probably call it. That's a pretty good looking lighthouse. I, I wonder if we could repair it. I'd like to actually have a functioning lighthouse. Hmm. By opening new areas to the public, you met your criteria. Criteria for spaciousness. And by increasing the number of facilities, you've also raised overall satisfaction, making you more popular visitors. Yes, I would say you cleared every condition needed. Which means you pass. Dodoko Island is hereby a two-star resort. Yeah! I'm certified. All right, new exclusive small chicken coop and gardening kits. <laughs> Yay. This is incredible, kazuka -san. You said it. I see there's much less trash since my last visit. The effort you put into reconstruction shows. Thank you so much. Should you continue to progress at this rate, the Toko Island may be completely restored to its lovely island the lovely island once was. I, as do the rest of the review board, eagerly, eagerly anticipate the dead day. Till then, I wish you the best of luck. We won't let you down. Here's the funding you've earned. Oh no, how much am I getting? Oh, how much? Alright, I got 200,000. We will, sir. Thank you again. No. You're the criteria for three star resort. I need a lot more satisfaction and popularity. I gotta clear out the fields and win a battle at the lake. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, what's the lake? I can't believe it. Two stars. We've done it again. Thank you so much. Here, Cosmo. Oh, wait, oh, how much am I getting? How much am I getting? Give me a second. Let me sip my coffee in anticipation. Okay. Oh my god. Now we shoot for three stars. Let's do it, everyone. Hell yeah. Should I keep opening up new areas like before? Ideally, yes. Unfortunately, there aren't any more adjacent areas left to open. We'll need a bridge to get to closed off area up north. Oh, about that. I can take care of it. You can? Hey. Yeah. I finally have all the tools I need, which means I can get started on bridge construction tomorrow. You just gotta bring me the funds. Thank you so much, Kenzo-san. 
Okay, guess I'll sell some doko bucks to build a bridge first. Sounds like a plan. Thank you for continued support. All right, so, yes, I'm rich. All right, now you're all like, man, these last two episodes are boring. It's nice and relaxing for me, and I'm happy with how it's going. All right, store. Oh, stop doing that, please. Can I move things around? I'll just do that. There we go. All right. And now I have money for a while. I can go back to Hawaii, which I do plan on doing. I think two episodes of this is enough for people. Uh, I will probably show you the major parts that happen. But until then, well, let's call it. We got some good stuff done. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this relaxing, kind of nothing for you guys episode. And see you next time, and bye.